Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So I know we think it's cold here sometimes, but I know it gets even colder in a lot of other places. Yeah, you know, 20 degrees, nothing to sneeze at that we woke up to this morning. It was chilly, but, you know, be lucky we're in Texas. Take a look at some of these mm -hmm. feel like temperatures they're dealing with in the Midwest right now. These are the wind chills. And we've also plotted on there the time it takes for your skin to reach frostbite if you go outside with an unexposed area of skin. That could be your face. Look at some of these wind chills. Negative 23, your feel like temperature in Chicago right now. It feels like 54 in Fargo with a two minute frostbite time. That means you step outside for two minutes and you could already experience frostbite. And that's not the worst. The worst up there by Fargo, negative 60, 61 below. The wind chill right now in Fergus Falls. Yeah, it is bitterly cold in the north, in the Midwest right now. Meanwhile, here in the Concha Valley, we dealt with some cold temperatures too. Nothing like what they're seeing, but these are the temperatures you woke up to this morning. It got down to 20 degrees here in San Angelo, also in Sterling City. 25, your morning low today in Brady, 27 in Ozona, 28 in Ballinger, 27 in Junction, and 22 this morning in Wall. You can thank the clear skies we had most of the night, and we had the clouds come in as we've gotten into the later portions of the day, but saw a few peaks of sunshine, and that allowed those temperatures to get up into the 50s. Now the clouds working back in, and those clouds will keep us from getting as cold tonight, although it will still be chilly. We've got a work week warm up on the way that'll have it feeling like spring by the time we head towards the weekend and even on the weekend for that first weekend of rodeo maybe dealing with a few showers look at these temperatures that are on the way tomorrow will be at 56 we're up into the 60s thursday and approaching the 70s by the time we get into friday 61 by the way our average temperatures so some above average weather coming back in as we head towards the weekend 35 right now in oklahoma city it's 37 currently in amarillo 47 in san antonio and here in the concha valley mainly dealing with those temperatures in the 40s 44 right now in Ballinger. It's 46 in junction in ozona 45 in Robert Lee, already down to the 30s though in Bryant. You're at 38 currently. The winds have shifted around to the east. That's going to help usher in some moisture as we go through the night tonight, raising those dew points. Right now, those dew points in the low 20s. They'll be in the upper 20s by the time we get towards morning. And that'll keep those temperatures from dropping down as cold as they did today. We have a little bit of rain showing up on radar, but with those dew points I showed you, that's very dry air at the surface. This is evaporating before it reaches the ground. Though it is going to keep the clouds around as we go through the night. And it's not just here. A lot of the state dealing with this cloud cover. There is a little bit of a system off to the west. It's not going to bring us showers, but it will bring the cloud cover. The big cold air mass is sitting to the north, and it's going to plunge more to the east, kind of staying away from us. We'll have low pressure develop to our west tomorrow, and that will bring the winds back around to the south. That's what's going to be responsible for your warm-up as we head through the work week. Take a look at the temperatures as we go through the next 24 to 48 hours. By the time you wake up dealing with those temperatures, that will be dropping into the 30s. In the afternoon, climbing into the 50s tomorrow, mainly the upper 50s. The clouds come back as we go into Thursday morning. We'll start out at 44 there at 3.30 and actually warm up through the day. That means that when you wake up Thursday morning, it'll feel a little bit warmer and a lot more humid as we go through your morning on Thursday. And then Thursday in the afternoon with westerly winds clearing the sky cover and bringing back those 60s. Let's take you up to the north, kind of show you what they'll expect because they'll be fighting these bitter wind chills over the next few days into tomorrow. Negative 29, your wake up temperature in Minneapolis. The wind chills are going to feel like the negative 50s. Luckily, they're getting warm air heading back in as we go into the weekend. A little bit of energy working through will be responsible for a few showers as we head towards Saturday. Won't be a big chance, only a 20% chance, but either way, going to increase the clouds and also bring you some showers. Saturday uh, temperatures, these aren't Saturday's temperatures, these are tomorrow's temperatures getting into the 50s. And uh, we're going to show them to you again. Systems just don't want to work sometimes. Low 30s for your temperatures tonight, dropping down into the 20s in some spots, especially low-lying areas. Down to 30 degrees in San Angelo, partly cloudy, still chilly. We'll be at 56 Wednesday and a little bit on the warmer side, although partly cloudy skies still hanging around. And we're climbing up into the 70s for that first weekend of rodeo. A 30% chance Friday night and a 20% chance Saturday morning. And then we're in the mid-70s for the weekend. We'll be right back.